Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 13, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called the Awesomes. And I remember that cartoon, uh, I think it was on Hulu, and it was fun. A bit adult, that's for sure, uh, but certainly fun. Anyway, uh, we've already scouted the path out. You can see the team that I decided to go in here with. Uh, first fight is Rogue. Now, this actually was a little bit more challenging than I had anticipated. Uh, we didn't have too much trouble, but you can see the global, which is dodge, which I hate. But Rogue also shrugs off debuffs faster, and the node has limber. So basically, a very nasty combination. And you can see here... I'm trying to decide how to do it. You know, I'm hitting once, twice, getting a little cheeky, uh, only because he has a safety net. You know, Gladiator Hulk on this path, you see what happened right there. Just look at his health. That is why Gladiator Hulk is the king of this path and why I didn't mind risking uh, some cheeky fights, you know, some cheeky attacks there. Uh, because even when I messed up, it didn't really matter. He healed. He has face me active. So he is the best. He is the best for that starburst path. So far, I have not met anyone on that path that would give him too much trouble. Uh, now, that's not saying that I won't, but so far, I have not. Uh, one of the reasons would be because it's early in the uh, Alliance War paths, and no one really wants to put their best defenders that early. They're gonna save them for the tougher nodes. All right, so as you can see, we cleared this uh, section here, and now we're gonna move on to section two. Now, in section two, I take path two. I stay away from that path one, because I don't think I have the champions for it, but on path two, you can see we're gonna fight Korg. Now, I'm used to fighting Korg with Havoc. I also don't have an Omega Red, so I don't have great counters for Korg. But when I was scouting my path out, the thing that I noticed was that he was unawakened. An unawakened Korg is a much easier defender uh, to defeat than an awakened Korg. So I boosted up a little bit and I said, all right, uh, I remember when I first went against Korg with Starkey, it didn't end well because I wasn't familiar with Korg's uh, mechanics. So you'll notice here, I'm not trying to build up my poise charges. Okay, and because he's not awakened, I can parry him. Okay, now you see the evade failed. You do not want to try to rely on Starkey's auto evade. So what I'm doing here is fighting him just like I would fight him with someone else. All right, messed up there a little bit. Uh, I was looking away and I was like, okay, got to get my head back in the game. And I bait out, you know, his heavies, bait out his specials and pretty much take him down. And I was going to bait out another one there, but then I saw that I had a special three. I saw his health. The rock shield was down. I said, I got him. And there he goes. So, except for that one little mistake that I made evading his special one, uh, most of the time I can evade it now. But other than that, it was fairly a straightforward fight. Now, next up is Ultron. This Ultron, I don't like fighting. He evades randomly. I much prefer fighting the other Ultron where he's going to pretty much be predictable in his evades. All right, so now I'm building up my poise charges. Got to be careful about that haymaker heavy that uh, all the AI likes to do if you block too long. All right, and so you see once I got my poise charges up, I just went in for the attack. Here we go. Just keep going. And he goes down. Now... During his healing, sometimes he will evade like crazy, like he's Spider-Man uh, classic. 
but this time he didn't. So if you watched my previous war video, you know how I got wrecked on Domino on this node. It's a very good placement for her, uh, especially with the Dodge Global. So you can see that one of my alliance mates went in, uh, did what they could against Domino. And I really, really did not want to fight this Domino. But I was up. I've got Starkey, who is a much better counter for Domino than any of my other champions. So I'm like, okay, we got to get her. She's not full health. We got to get some payback. All right, so I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, what can I do? Let's do a, a little tech boost, power boost. You know, I'm thinking I can uh, fire off maybe the special two, maybe a uh, back to back if I need to. Uh, I decided to go with the uh, smaller boost there, had a lot of them. And then uh, boost up again uh, with the 10% uh, attack. And then finally, I'm like, okay, I know how much of a BS uh, fight this is going to be. So I went ahead and uh, popped an invulnerability boost. Okay. Heal up my Starkey because I don't want to go in there hurt. I hate when it does that. Time me out. And I was ready. I was like, okay, let's heal. And then I'm back out there. Uh, but heal him up. And then we're going to go in. And I can tell you right now. I was going in here and I'm just like, man, this is not going to be a fun fight. All right. So we go in and you see, I'm trying to stay away from her. You see, I'm a little nervous. All right. There's a crit failure already happening. Lovely mechanic there. There we go. She got her dodge and got the power gain from it and all that. Just lots of fun. Here I am in the corner, which is where I don't want to be. All right. So here we go. I'm trying to hit just a few hits at a time boom got her down that went much better than my gladiator to hulk fight and better than i thought it was gonna go all right so good counter now here i made an error in judgment so at this time i'm going for a champion in arena and i'm trying to put up a high score my guys are coming off cooldown and so i was about to stream and they asked me to take that domino, so I did. And then I'm like, okay, you know, I need to go ahead and do as much as I can here. But the error in judgment was that I decided to go in here with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. And I also decided not to heal up. Now, that's a no-no. When we were going hard in war, that was a no-no. Uh, but I decided to do that. And you'll see how the fight goes here. All right, so I'm not used to fighting her stun immune. Uh, I got to get used to that again. All right, and I normally would take her with Hyperion or with um, Corvus. So you see I made a big mistake there attacked right into her when she had living strands up and just look at this i just got wrecked there's no excuses about it i just got wrecked i was probably hurrying a little too much and that's what happened so i'm still boosted and i asked you know uh super vega man who is my alliance leader did he want me to try again by this time we know that we are more than likely going to lose but it's still a very close war uh he said go ahead and i'm like all right uh so i'm a little bit more warmed up trying to pay a little bit more attention all right and so i'm like okay we got this we got this and so far so good and then that happened i'm like what is going on but i'm still in good you know shape here all right i'm in the corner which is where i don't like to be and I'm just looking for an opening here so I can maybe fire off a heavy. And just look at, I'm just getting tagged. And I'm just like, are my inputs just not going? What, what, what's going on? I'm not evading. I'm not doing anything. And I'm just like, I'm going to lose this fight. And I'm just like, no, no, I am not going down. 
and then this happens. I'm just like, no, I felt like Rocky. I ain't going down no more, no more. Ain't going down no more. Damn, and there we go. That was like a desperate swipe. You know, it's like, no, and got her down. Sloppy as anything, but at least we only died once. All right, and now that was my participation and we're gonna find out how we did. All right, we've got less than 30 seconds left to find out how we did in this war, and I'm pretty sure we lost it. It was a close war, and we did have a chance to win, but we just couldn't close the deal. But let's find out for sure in a little bit. I know there's gonna be some changes made. Uh, we're gonna be losing at least one person Gaining another person. All right. Here we go. War has ended. Tap on the screen to continue. And as soon as it comes up, there we go. Our history. And we lost. Let's see. Score was pretty close, though. Look at that. Look at how close that war was. Wow. I'm not going to scroll down to show, you know, the deaths and uh, diversity and all of that, but just look at how close. That's one death or, or maybe a diversity, but that is crazy close. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.